And that's another thing too, y'all. Um, the ancestors are here. The ancient ones are here. So a lot of y'all going, y'all going to start. Um, they're going to start visiting y'all more. Yeah. In, in the um, in the spiritual realm, they're going to start visiting y'all more in the dreams. A lot of y'all that are spiritual, uh, um, y'all going to start seeing more. Y'all going to start having more visions. And this is another thing when when I was when we was talking about when we was preparing for the show and getting ready to do the predictions, spirit kept telling me that a lot of men are gonna start coming into their spirituality. A lot, yeah. I miss her a lot. That was my bestie, and, and, and she was my only best friend, so I don't have nobody to talk to like that no more. And that's another thing, too, y'all. Um, the ancestors are here. The ancient ones are here. So a lot of y'all, going y'all going to start, um, they're going to start visiting y'all more. Yeah. In, in the um, in the spiritual realm, they're going to start visiting y'all more in the dreams. A lot of y'all that are spiritual, uh, um, y'all going to start seeing more, y'all going to start having more visions. And this is another thing when when I was when we was talking about when we was preparing for the show and getting ready to do the predictions, spirit kept telling me that a lot of men are gonna start coming into their spirituality. Mm -hmm. A lot of black men are gonna start coming back into their African spirituality. They're gonna start getting they're gonna start getting more into the ritual work and the readings and stuff. I, j I just see a lot of black men are gonna start getting taking their rightful rightful place in the spirituality. Yeah, so y'all get ready. Get ready. All right, so I got some questions. Talib Soul says his wife is sending her uh, love to us. <laughs> Thank you. to her. So we send our love back to her. We send our love back. My oldest son passed September 6, 2020. Cynthia, are you serious? What happened to him? I know the last time your husband passed, so your son passed in September. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that, but you know he's an ancestor now. His physical body passed, but you know he's still around. He's around you right now. Don't say I tell you so. You will smell him. You can feel him. He's around you right now. Wow. Okay, so what's next? What's next? We did... All right, so we did love. We, finances. We did weather. Money. 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 money finances. Money. 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 Yep. Money, money, money. Mm. Okay, so... For the no month of November. If some of you all are dealing <coughs> with the stock market, I keep seeing a mini crash. Mini crash for the stock market. Um don't do the don't do that many trades. Don't do that many trades if you don't have to. And and they're saying this month don't buy. Don't buy too much, okay? If you're dealing with the stock market or any um, coins, any bitcoins, any coins, okay? Cryptocurrency. Just stand still. Like, stand still. That's what they're showing me. Um, Deb, don't, don't be in a dark space. I mean, I really, really miss Rose. She was my best, best friend. But I know as an African traditional healer that her physical body's gone because I still talk to her. I will call Rose in a minute. I was talking to one of our other friends. We used to talk on the phone. And I could feel her presence in the mix of it. So I, I wouldn't say I'm in the dark. So I miss her physically. But I know spiritually. In African traditions, it's a mm -hmm. you know it's from birth to death and death to life. So she's living right now. Um, and she stays around all of you. She stays around you. She stays around Devon. Denise, she, she's around David. She's around all her kids. And I do call her. And I'll talk to her uh, you spiritually. You could do the same thing. And not only that, um, unfortunately, I'm going to set up another shrine. I'm going to actually add her to the ancestor shrine. But I still talk to her. I hear her voice and everything. And I was like, well, what would Rose say? And this is real, y'all. This is real, y'all. I ain't even playing. Mm -hmm. I would be like, what, what? Let me call. And one day I almost forgot. And I tried. To, I called her number by mistake. Let me call Rose and ask Rose. And I forgot that she really transitioned. It was crazy, y'all. Yeah. It was crazy, and I'd just be like, well, okay, let me think about what would Rose say. Rose would say, well, Nikki, go ahead and just do it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, and I could imagine what you're going through, Deb, but let me tell you something. She's with y'all. You know, physically, no, but spiritually, Rose is still in the picture. And as a matter of, as a matter of fact, I think right after it happened, I had, I had to say, well, I heard her say, well, what happened? 
What happened? And I'm gonna tell you another time she was there. It was the other night we was in the car. We was uh -huh. going to my grandson's uh, football game, uh -huh. and her favorite song was "I'm Just Fine, Just Fine" by Mary J. Blige. And it came out. I said, "Oh, okay, Rose in here with us." Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And. You know, say no, something? That, that's it. And what I see, what I see, it's funny because what, what, while she was talking, what Spirit was showing me that, um, it's gonna be like some up. Is the money is gonna the money flow is gonna be up and down for like those who have their businesses. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be kind of up and down. Like if you've been, if you haven't, what Spirit just showed me too. If you haven't been making, if you have your own business and it's been kind of slow the last two weeks. Other people have been kind of like, you know, study or they've been busy. Mm -hmm. What the shift is, is finna flip flop, like you said, the energy is finna flip. The people that are sl were slow, they finna start their businesses finna increase. And the ones that were busy, it's gonna slow down a little bit for them. So it's, 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 a, it's gonna be a balance of, you know, up and down, up and down, and up and down. But I, what they were showing me was the ancestors going out and getting people to come to you, especially mm -hmm. those who are spiritual. If y'all been doing your, your your prayers and and feeding your spirits, I just I just see the ancestors and the spirits going out and and opening a way for people to make more money to have their own businesses. Right. All right. Um. Um. Dad, I'm gonna inbox you my number too in case you know you want to call and talk to me because you remember Rose, you always try to teach you the call, but I'm gonna inbox you my number, okay? Another stimulus check. Enter the period. I don't know about that. I don't see that they're going to give another stimulus check. I see that they're giving it to the women with children or families with children, but I'm not seeing another stimulus check coming for us. I, f I feel like they they like done with that. I really do. I feel like they're done with that. So I don't I don't see that. I'm not seeing that. But I do see that um, money is going to flip flop this month. It's going to be on the borderline. Some of you will be balanced, and some of you. Might be a little short. Some of you like might get like he said. Some of the blessings will come. Um, so do budget your money right this month, y'all. Okay, do do budget your money right. Um, but um, I do see a uh, I do see a flip. Like I was talking about the stock. Don't right this month. Don't play with them too much. Mm -hmm. Let them stay where they are. Don't buy nothing. Don't sell nothing. Just leave your 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 stock and your crypto where it's at. Okay. Um, Hmm. V12 ATL says they're what? sending peace and blessings to everyone. Peace, blessings, and prosperity to everyone. Peace, blessings, and prosperity. Everyone tonight. Uh, Talib Soul says he needs to get some more of that money. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Some more money soap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let us know. Oh, honey. he said more of that soap. So he could be talking about the money soap or the protection soap. Um, okay. So just those of you that are in, uh, interested in any spiritual products that we sell, you can go to our website at wunamandadinkra.com. And, um, we got everything. We got protection soap. We got, we got, you know, we have spiritual baths. We have, uh, protection necklaces. We have, we have everything you need. And we, and you can, you can book a reading on there. Okay. So. And we'll put it in the chat. Hey, Anthony, how you doing? Ancestor readings, okay. regular readings, whatever. But okay, family. And for, for those of you, back to the um, finance part, those of you who have your own businesses, Spirit is saying, if you are dealing with some type of slow process, like some weeks you may slow, some weeks you pick up, um, some of you might need to market your businesses better. Spirit is showing you need to market better, which is going to increase your finances, okay? Um, also, too, I'm seeing that some people need to change, make a change, okay? If you're having financial problems, it's time to make a change and be more uh, responsible, budget your money, okay? So, this month, finances are pretty much, you know, going to be up and down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have businesses, market better. If your business is slow, come up with a new strategy, okay, to mm -hmm. your business. This is what spirit is saying. So that's what you want to do this month, okay? Yeah. Um L Dog says I have my own business. It's been busy. I need a break. Be quick be careful what you ask for, L Dog. Right. Be careful what you ask <laughs> you know, for. You know, we right? got a lot of black us as black people have a lot of ashe or my wife says in Yama. And, uh, and the words that we speak. So 
you can manifest it. Talk about you, <laughs> you need a break. Uh, and then you are, you come back and say November and December months are always hard. So, just, you know. Don't curse, your, don't curse, don't curse don't yourself. Don't curse yourself, L dog. Don't you do that. Do not curse yourself. You have a business. And think of it this way. Like I tell everybody. The same eight hours you put into somebody else's business, you're going to have to put into your own. Mm -hmm. A real entrepreneur doesn't have to work for himself. He has somebody working for him. Okay? So when people go, oh, I'm an entrepreneur, you're not. No, you're not. If you got to work on business, you're not, you ain't an entrepreneur. All right? Okay? At the end of the day, stop saying it's hard because you, you're cursing yourself. You put a spell word on yourself. Keep saying it's easy and it's going to get easy. This is real talk. And that's another thing we got to remember, y'all. This energy is including all of that. Changing your vocabulary, even the words you change. I was talking the other day, I was like, suppose, you know, the vocabulary, the new words are coming in with the new energy, right? Suppose COVID is going to be the new name for having a cold. COVID is going to be the new name for having a cold. It's right? going to be the new name for just a person being sick. Right. This is you know, the new it, thing now. You know what I mean? Somebody coughing, they're going to be like, that boy Most, got that COVID. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Of money. Yeah, Politics. Politics, politics, politics. Diamond Maid says Miss Nikki Hen um, Hendrix watching live with me, and he keep pointing at you, smiling, trying to give you a kiss. Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> give him a kiss for me. He's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> I can't see him, y'all, but I can see him because I know what his face looks like because I seen his picture. But he's so cute. Oh, I want to give him a kiss. I love babies, y'all. I'm a sucker for babies. Trust me when I tell you. I'm a sucker for baby. All right, so at this point, we're getting to politics, but if y'all have some questions, y'all come with the questions, okay? While y'all got us here, and, and we're doing the predictions, we also do reading, so if you got some questions, and don't come with no crazy questions, y'all. Come with some <laughs> so, okay, if y'all got some questions, okay? Um, but politics is tricky. Did y'all hear that the mayor of New York, they had a black mayor before, but they got another black mayor, y'all. What do y'all think about this new black mayor? I was kind of reading his energy this morning. Mark Hassan, where you at? I was reading his energy this morning. Something about his energy kind of far away. He looked like Dougie Fresh to me, right? But he had a straight New York guy. He looked like he used to be a gangster. Or sound like he used to be a gangster. I was like, what kind of uh, mayor of New York they got now, right? So I'm, I'm watching his energy. And not to say he's, he's not a good man, right? But I'm picking up some energy. They put a black mayor back into New York. So, I'm trying to see, and I'm going to read it more, y'all, I promise y'all. I'm going to give y'all some more, but I'm trying to see what kind of energy he's going to bring to New York, okay? Because y'all remember we had, um, who was the black man in New York? Mark, who was the black man a couple years ago? I think it was back in the 90s. What was his name again? What was his name? Um, I can't think of his name right now. But anyway, so politics, the, the, the last of the predictions for the month. Politics, you're going to see a lot of new people come into office, okay? So now we got a black man in New York, but you're going to see a lot of people come into office. And these new politicians, some of them are going to be righteous, <laughs> and some of them are going to be unrighteous, okay? Don't say I didn't tell you so. Mm. Some of them are going to be righteous, and some of them are going to be over. But what Spirit has shown me, these politicians are also human beings that are going through a transformation. And what they're showing me is that we are going to see more better uh, communities and, you know, uh, more of these politicians are going to be doing right by the people. This is what Spirit is showing me. Some of these politicians are not human. This is what Spirit is showing me, okay? Don't say I didn't tell you so. And what I mean by that, because we don't know who's human walking amongst us. I mm -hmm. mean, they're human, but they're not human. They have the ability to shapeshift, Okay. Don't say I didn't tell you so, okay? So, when you see these new politicians, new mayors coming in, and all these elections you see that's going on, do pay very close attention to them. You know what? I see. <laughs> for for uh, It's funny you mention that before I get into what I see. Mm -hmm. I just, these people nowadays, they don't miss shit. Because <laughs> I, I watch a lot of stuff... Um, YouTube um, and these other these other uh, social media sites on the internet and these people they know 
they know who the ones that are aliens or who are not human and, and stuff like that. They be on it. They a lot of people are doing their own research. They studying the behavior of these politicians. They're watching everything they do. They're watching the laws that they pass. They're just really onto them. So a lot of these people aren't missing anything. Like they're really onto them. Um, but getting back to what I see for this month for politics, I just I see a lot lot more exposure. I see some I see um I see some um people being exposed, politicians, and I see some more exposure for um the connection with the churches, the church and politi politicians. I'm seeing it's gonna be a connection with the church and the, and some some politicians with um a lot more of this pedophilia, like a lot of this is, is finna be rinsed out and be and, and just be driven away completely. But you're going to see a lot more of that stuff starting to come out. Just more people getting exposed for any of this stuff. You're just going to see a lot of it. Um, and the care says, what do you see with the uh, uh, vaccine mandates? Hmm. <laughs> I, you know, what I do see is a lot of that stuff is going to just slowly just dwindle away and die out. Um, and I've noticed a lot more, a lot more states in the South, they're, they're giving the middle finger to the U.S. government and said, we're not making people do that. You know, you got Texas and some other states that are not, they, they actually, that Texas had even went, took it a step further and said that they're not it's going to be illegal for businesses to say to mandate that somebody has to have a vaccination or or wear a face mask i mean a a mask to come in their business they say they're not doing that and so you know i i see that the mandates are going to start doing in a way it's like you're not even going to hear about it anymore that's okay. you know I see the same thing. Oh. I'm sorry, y'all. My mouth was dry. I see the same thing. I'm gonna start doing it in a way. So what does Talib say? Talib so says a lot of people, especially on TikTok, are very aware of what's going on on in the world today. It's gonna be really hard for them to try to fool people now. That's right. Everybody's on TikTok doing TikTok, TikTok. Um, everybody's doing their thing. Y'all hear about the guy that put the the video up on pop, about Popeyes? Y'all know, love that chicken at Popeyes, and then they show rats running up in the back of the goddamn restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the guy on TikTok. Yeah, he's in the D.C. area, and he uh recorded himself. You know, he because he delivers meat to these Popeyes in the D.C. area, and so he re took out his phone and recorded it live. Like I don't know if it was live, but he recorded. You know himself going into the Popeye, Popeyes, and all the rats were running all over the floor. Right. He went into the kitchen. The rats were crawling up the, uh, crawling up the wall, going back into the ceiling. And then after he finished, they, he said, "Do y'all still love that chicken from Popeyes?" <laughs> so Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready?